guys, so this is part two. So I hope you guys watched previous video where I did by Joanne's haul. And it was just so much pattern talking about in that video. I felt it could be dedicated to just having some craft moment. So let's talk about some romance. Now, this week, I read a lot of romance. I read three. And the first one is Baggage Claim. And this is the second book from um, Alex, uh, Alexander Warren. Now, I... I think she's going to be that author that I'm going to binge read a lot of her books this year. Because I'm loving it. So this is a short book. It is short. So you can read this in a couple of How long it took me? You can read this in about two hours. It's short. It's like one of those weekend sit there and just read that. Sit in a bed, read that, and you're done just that quick. The premise of the story will give you the whole... What? That's not realistic whatever a couple of eye roll all of that but it makes sense when you get to the end when you get to the end you're gonna be like oh you know that kind of reaction and this was baggage claim loved it this is a girl who had had this high hope thought she was about to get proposed to and it ended up being a, a, um, a breakup session in front of her family and friends and her reaction was to escape so her way of escaping was to go to the airport and just get on the next flight know where she going or whatever and she in close encounter with this man who just just connected with her in a way that he can't explain but he was just like you know, you know it invited her to his place and all that because she came with nothing so at first he was like oh the baggage claim is over here she came with nothing she had nothing um it turned out to be such a uh, very erotic did make me smile a lot love the the, the chemistry and how the, the the they were interacting with each other love all of that it was very fairy tale but it's meant to be when you get to the end you realize why it's fairy tale i'm here for that and again would recommend it then we have told the told the line now P penelope ward is somebody who i've read quite a lot of her books i'm pretty sure at least 10 of if it's not 10 it's more than 10 read a lot of her books she does write solo but she also co-writes with another author so every time i try to read one of her books and this one i picked up which is archie and noel is very summer very summer um this is where you have um this um family two families and one the, they're both lawyers one father is was the mentor of the other and they own a beach house property together so of course this summer they they, they were there for a summer one has a son the other one has a daughter and of course um they were not the most um fan of their parents in terms of certain things that was happening in the summertime you taking me all the way out here kind of reaction um but um the daughter ryan was very not used to this um not ryan sorry noel is not used to this kind of setup She's also much younger, not much younger, I think they are two years apart or something like that. One was already in college um, and he's going into his last year. So he was considered going to law school because that's what his father wants for him. And then you have the daughter, she is now going to college and she is um, pursuing journalism. So this is them connecting, falling for each other, then tragedy hit and that change how their life went for 12 years so 12 years they're married to other people they've had families they have had careers change of careers all of that happened in 12 years but they never lost communication but never actually tell each other how they really feel about each other it's that kind of story which we've read over and over before but this one was a little different because it had its frustration for you were frustrated but you were still rooting for them like all right come on y'all need to get it together and get to you know get together um but how the ending and the things that they had to deal with and even when things changed for them and they still had this obstacle i love how they were able to get through it and hold on to each other and and have uh, have a life ultimately so that's why your struggle was interesting but i really like it but again it is penelope ward she knows that's her thing these kind of story is her thing she loved going back to flashback where you're going back to 12 years ago and present day she's a fan of writing like that so she's not gonna stop so i'm used to her writing stuff so i was here for it then we got to another book 
which is a series. I want to print this book up because I was looking at the reviews and everybody had rave things to say and it's a series and then I'm like oh all the books are already out so I know if I'm in love with this I just keep going and I don't feel like I have to stop and that is Mercy and this is by Love Belvin. I've read a couple of her books before now this series it's a bit of an urban romance slow burn because it's building up and not because it's a series it's building up um, because the entire book nothing happens till the end and when it happens at the end it, had, it does end on a cliffhanger which I'm so happy that all the books are out because that would have really pissed me off if I had to wait for the next book so I'm happy the books are available now this is a man who sacrificed 10 years of his life and went to prison and in the story you you are you're familiar that you know things aren't what it really is as a reader but of course the next person that's involved with is they call it Shishi but it's Shizu or something <laughs> that's how you pronounce it and how you know she sees him as someone who had the time who is now working an honest job and he's like you know making ends meet he's very positive he knows what he wants out of life um, he knows what he wants as far as his future family how he sees things and it's more she's attracted to that because she's like such a person who's still trying to find herself in the midst of all of this and but she's also very su sweet and caring when it comes to him in terms of they go out and she's worried about how much money he's spending she's worried about the, the, the date that she was he was able to get sorry, get she was worried about the date that they went on and the amount of money it's like she was calculating how much all this was costing him um, without really knowing that the man can afford all of this the man took the man didn't sacrifice 10 years of his life for nothing <laughs> so um, but she doesn't know this so everything just kind of like you know things started happening you're like oh god how is she gonna really re react to all of this it is such a uh, I think this is one of those kind of romance that will suck you in in terms of it's slow burn so you really get them to know how they can fall for each other and the issues and the the, the genuine concern um, of somebody getting involved with somebody like this but it also have a suspense to it because you still don't know everything like as a reader you, uh, you, you, you kind of know certain things why he went in and that kind of deal but there's certain suspense and certain things because he has this goal and you know he has a goal in the story when you're reading it but as a reader you don't really know exactly what is his goal is what is really his goal and you're learning as you turn the pages so I'm looking forward to second I haven't read that many pages I just started the second one um, but I'm definitely going to continue and read the series and give like maybe a full review and that's where I'm at with the romance I just wanted to finish up summer and get some romance in I felt like this summer I didn't I was reading a lot of heavy book a lot of um, trauma books that kind of deal and so I wanted to read some romance that even if it has a little trouble you know there's a happy ending there in there you know there's something that's gonna really make you smile so I wanted to do that so that's where I'm at with these stories and um, so I will let you know and I will also Bring it in on some of these projects that I'm working on. I have, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I could pull it off the high end board, but it's an iron board right here, guys. So I have this denim dress that I'm working on. So I'm going to finish that up today and maybe in another video I will show how it came out. It is a quick one. It's just, I didn't have the right needle when I started it. So I have the right needle now. So we're going to do that. So. See you in the next one. Let me know if you read any of these romance books and how you felt. And I'll see you in the next video.